For the last few years, Italian engineers have been working on a humanoid robot for emergency response applications. The Iron Cub 3 has jets on its back and fire breathers on its arms, and has now achieved stable takeoff and hover for the first time. The project from the Artificial and Mechanical Intelligence Group at the Italian Institute of Technology has taken a childlike biped designed for AI research, the iCub, and aims to get it off the ground using jet power. As well as strapping a twin jet pack to its back, the team also sacrificed the original robot's flexible human-like hands in favor of more fire-breathing jet cats. Thrust is said to max out at around 225 pound force, and exhaust temperatures can get as high as 800 degrees Celsius or 1472 degrees Fahrenheit. The Tony Stark-inspired Iron Cub 3 has been treated to a newly developed titanium spine to help it cope with the forces at play, and has had heat-resistant covers applied instead of the funky outer suit on earlier prototypes. New electronics were designed, four Stark sensors installed in the jetpack and components removed to make way for the updated system. The team told us that its forearms have been carefully engineered using feminalysis to support realistic flight dynamics and that the humanoid also features an advanced multi-rate control architecture, including a model predictive controller tailored to the non-linear and multi-frequency actuation of jets and joints. As of August last year, the jet-powered humanoid had been tested in a wind tunnel to validate aero simulations, and the jets had all been successfully powered up a number of times. The team has since developed an advanced control model for systems composed of several interconnected parts as well as AI-based models for real-time estimation of aerodynamic forces. As you can see in the video, the Iron Cub 3 prototype, which weighs in at 154 pounds, including the jets, managed to achieve stable liftoff and relatively stable hover, though its time aloft during each test was quite short. The researchers certainly haven't made it easy for themselves, with the multiple shapes of the robot's body and its movable arms adding complexity to the AI-based flight control systems. The humanoid, its onboard sensor suite and inertial measurement unit, four stork sensors, and a real sense depth camera and its control systems are reported robust enough to handle extreme operating environments. The team says that this combination should also allow the robot to maintain posture and stability even during non-stationary maneuvers, such as sequential engine ignition or changes in body geometry. But that's something for the future. Up until now, the project has undertaken development and flight testing at a small area within the Italian Institute of Technology campus. But as work progresses, the project will need a larger space for experimentation, and that's been made possible thanks to a collaboration with Genoa Airport. The eventual aim is to have humanoids that can fly to a disaster or emergency site, to perform aerial inspections or provide remote personnel with key data but it will also be able to land and walk around, move over obstacles, climb stairs, open doors, and so on. This adaptability could be useful for inspecting dangerous buildings or infrastructure.